Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is part 5 of my Easy Drummer Free Series. And today we talk about the grid editor slash MIDI editor. So let's go directly in this. So we talked about already about the drums and the grooves and today we want to talk about the grid editor. But I will show you this right now. This is a grid editor. Um, but we start with another point. When we have a groove we want to work with we can just drag and drop this here then we go to the grid editor and there is the notes from the groove we can build up a style or a groove by our own so we erase this here then we here in the grid editor then we have here two modes then we go to the pencil mode then we can add for this case for example the snare we can go with the kick and so we can really um, build from scratch your own groove we can play this then so how we want to delete this same stuff just click again on this and there it is what is really cool is when you're in your door and every door has a different MIDI um, editor and there you have to rename all on the MIDI keyboard in the editor what it is so where is the snare where is the kick you have to find out that stuff but here it's already done and that's pretty easy then for programming so and this is one of the best features and this is what you should think about it no matter what door you are using when you when you working with this here then the MIDI editor is always the same and this is the best thing on Easy Drummer Free I love this feature and I work with Logic and Reaper but when you're working with this here then you have just the same MIDI editor the same grid editor to procure to sorry to program your grooves or your drums and that's pretty insane this is what I really love at uh, Easy Drummer Free so let's go to the side here so we have here everything when we click on it we hear it so the kick has no articulations but the rest has articulations and that's pretty cool if you, if you click this arrow here then we see the articulations and when we click on it we hear them if you want to if you want to go with a uh, just snare then go to articulations this is the Santa stack then now we can change this and I, I love it so let's delete it yeah and this with every element of a drums so you can do this here this is this is insane all the articulations are automatically here inside look how much articulations the hi-hat has this is insane and if you work with your MIDI editor in your door you have to rename the keyboard in your MIDI editor you know you have to to uh, search for it okay where's the close edge okay where's the tight edge where's the open edge one or two and here it's done you can open this and work with this and that's so great for your workflow and this is what I really like so it's really on every thing there's some articulations um, great great feature in my opinion so what we else have here we have the amazing amazing humanize control I think with the drum groove okay the, the drum grooves the MIDI grooves uh, from Toon Track are played by a real drummer so you don't have to humanize them but I will show you a drag and drop the groove here there you see um, we're here on the hi-hat and you see the hi-hat has different and uh, velocities so 49 and this is the highest velocity 127 
and you see this here it's pretty wide and this is a little bit gray and when it's gray it's the velocity is lower uh, let's play this to hear the changes of the velocities So you hear, really hear the difference and this makes it more human. But if you did a groove from scratch, so you built your own drum grooves, you can humanize them. And even on this one, it, it changes a little bit. Humanize and watch this automatically. And I really enjoy this on toms. Um, on toms, this is working pretty, pretty well for the humanizing you have this feature all also in your midi editor in your door but here it's all on this place it's all pretty pretty easy you could also adjust the timing so here we on the timing maybe you see this let's go with the snare So you can really add the timing here, randomize, there you see this, it moves, it moves, do you see this? You hear a big difference with the snare, a more natural uh, difference that's, that sounds more natural when the randomize, you know, we set the timing differently with every hit. So that's pretty awesome. Here a difference uh, about the swing option. So pretty pretty easy options to make your drums sound human pretty pretty fast. And, and this is a process what is much much longer in your door editor for me this is my opinion about that then you have also uh, about the velocity you can uh, dynamics you have another option with randomize let's see how that is this is pretty cool to um, when you build up a groove or your MIDI drums and did some program something here inside to uh, search for the sweet spot here we soloed still the snare to search for the sweet spot of your snare and here I like 115 so let's go to the dynamics. Let's go to randomize. So now we are not in the timing randomize. So here we are in the velocity randomize. So it sounds more you. So you can do the fast way, humanize, but adjust really the fine editing to your velocities. And that's pretty amazing. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the grid editor of Easy Drummer Free slash MIDI editor. We all know this from our doors as a MIDI editor and this is maybe the best feature or the feature I like the most at Easy Drama Free. I really really love it. Hopefully I could show you something what is interesting. I could show you something why this editor is right now for me unbeatable and I start to work with this and I will do all my future stuff in this editor. So, ladies and gentlemen,
thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel. Leave a comment below. If you have questions for this, ask me. I will answer this. And I think we will see us then next week. Bye bye, fellas.